as well. Now, um, what I want to do next is, is something slightly different. So um, as I was preparing this, talk, this presentation with my students earlier this week, we, we sat down and we said, wow, there are a lot of important people in the audience uh, in, here in person and watching this by the live stream. And one of my PhD students, Pranav Raj Perger, uh, wanted to do a live demo of one of the AI systems that were built uh, in collaboration with uh, Matt Lundgren, who's a, a, a faculty over, that, uh, over in medical school to collaborate with, on this um, X-ray and uh, AI um, application. So here's an X-ray film uh, with cut away some parts to remove PHI. And uh, what Pranav will demo is uh, an AI system applied to whatever it wants to do with this particular X-ray. So take it away, Pranav. Uh, thank you, Professor Ng. Uh, so here's an X-ray film that I have. And most of the world has films rather than digital photographs as the way to take x-rays. And two-thirds of the world doesn't have access to radiology diagnostics. Um, but imagine a world in which anyone in any part of the world could take a photo of their x-ray film and have an algorithm make the diagnosis of what that x-ray has in terms of the abnormalities. Now, some of the work going on in our lab is looking at diagnosing chest pathologies of x-rays. And today, I'm going to show you a demo of that, where we're going to take a picture of this x-ray film and see what we can find. So here is uh, me trying to take a picture with the iPad. As you can see yeah. Professor Ng there. <laughs> and what we're going to do is position this um, film. I have. I have a uh, light white uh, a white background, and I'm just going to put the X-ray over it. And now I'm just going to position it so I see the full X-ray here. And snap, there's my picture. I'll take one more. There we go. And now I'm going to open up an app. So this is an app that we've built where we're going to find out what the algorithm says this X-ray has. Uh, so first things first, if we actually look at the x-ray and if we ask a radiologist to make a diagnosis, they would say that there's an enlarged heart here. It's a case of cardiomegaly. So we're going to see if our algorithm could have come to the same conclusion. So here I click Upload, and I'm going to use the picture that we took. And now it's running through the algorithm. And on the right, we see it's come out with all these uh, Pathologies, and on top of that is cardiomegaly, which is the enlarged heart. So the algorithm got it right. Now, if you're a clinician or a doctor in a different part of the world, you might want to know, hey, is this algorithm looking at the right thing to arrive upon its final diagnosis? And towards that goal, what we have also done is the ability for the algorithm to be able to show exactly where it's looking at when it's coming to its diagnosis. And here we can see that the algorithm is looking at the heart. Uh, I guess we can say its heart's in the right place. Um, and the real goal of this is we hope that this will increase radiology access uh, across the world. Uh, so that's my demo. Thanks. <laughs> 